Hey everybody, Greg here from IDM with a great update for anyone that sells products online. But first, be sure to check back here next week. We'll be celebrating Greg's Friday Tip Day's one year anniversary. We're gonna have a great time and give away some great prizes with a cool contest. So definitely be sure to tune back in. Also, share the love and support small businesses by liking our page and like and share this post. Remember together, we are all stronger. So now let's dive right in to Facebook's Marketplace's new business to consumer upgrade. There's an old misconception that Facebook Marketplace is still only a C to C platform, similar to Craigslist. But thankfully, that is no longer the case these days. Hang on, I know what you're thinking. Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, Google Shopping, okay. Let's just stop there because we'll be listening all day, right? <laughs> so is there another platform out now? Well, the quick answer is yes. But hang on, before we judge, let's really see if this is gonna be a good fit for your business. Because honestly, not every platform is the perfect fit for every business. So what IDM did is we, we reviewed Facebook's data from 2019, and it showed that one out of three Facebook users also utilized Facebook Marketplace which means that there's a major B2C opportunity here. Since B2C opportunity on Facebook Marketplace is still in beta, you must meet certain criteria in order to list on Marketplace. However, if you already use data feeds to list ads on Facebook or Google Shopping, then transitioning to Facebook Marketplace is gonna be a fairly simple process for you. The nice part about new advertising platforms is that most of the times they start off with lower cost and Facebook's Marketplace for B2C definitely kept with that tradition. With commission rates of 5% or a minimum of 40 cents for transactions under $8, Facebook currently offers some of the lowest selling fees among marketplaces. As of today, the commission rates do not change based on the product category, unlike other major marketplaces. On Facebook's marketplace, there are also no listing fees, which means you can upload unlimited inventory and there are no subscription fees or no tiered selling plans for signing up as a retailer. As marketplaces grow in popularity, they tend to increase their commission rates. Amazon's recent increase from 15% to 17% for the closing category is a prime example. <laughs> prime, <laughs> that's actually funny. Although Facebook has given no indication that they intend to increase their commission rates in the future, supply and demand does dictate that it's better to get in early, right? <laughs> Facebook Marketplace is a package deal. Listing your inventory on Facebook's Marketplace opens the door to using the same catalog for checkout on Instagram. Instagram and Facebook are the two most widely used social media networks in the US, and the 5% commission rate stays the same across both apps. This can give you access to a majorly different audience base without requiring much additional steps on the integration side. According to Pew Research Center, Instagram captures a younger demographic and Facebook trends towards an older demographic, but with significant overlap in the middle. As we've talked about before several times here on Greg's Friday Tip Day, the consumer these days is looking for a major personalized shopping experience. And who is better at personalizing items in social media, which makes Facebook Marketplace and Facebook very attractive to shoppers that are looking for that highly personalized experience. Get this, Facebook uses the data about its users to help connect them to products that they like. As a user interacts with Facebook Marketplace over time, shoppers will experience a more tailored feed based on variables such as products that they show interest in or what they've clicked on. The, this results in a database personalized shopping experience where the products find the customers. Okay, so let's recap. One, the lowest selling fees for marketplaces. Two, smooth integration product feeds. Three, one feed in process, but it sends out to the top two most widely used social media networks in the US. And on top of all that, the products find your ideal customer for you, as opposed to your potential customer searching for you first. Okay, so there are for sure some win-wins here for most places that sell products online. <laughs> Again, this is Greg from IDM in the beautiful city of Cabot, Arkansas, wishing everyone safe days. And if we can help you with anything, and I truly mean anything, even if it's just a no pushy brainstorming over the phone, call me anytime at 
3645 or visit me online at idmarkansas.com and let's start your journey now.